In this video, we'll workflow between the model and patch workspaces. First, here in Model Space, let's make a box. Click on Box, click on the plane, click two points, and then drag it up to the desired height. This is a solid box. I can't delete any faces. If I wanted to delete a face, I would bring it into the patch workspace. And now it is hollow and it is made of multiple faces. If I right click, I can delete. All of these faces are stitched together. That means if I move one, the others will stretch with it. If I wanted to just remove this face for some reason, I would go to Modify, Unstitch, and then click the faces to unstitch. Now, when I right click and choose Move, that face moves by itself. That applies to all of them, you'll notice. And if that's not what I want, I can restitch these back together. Click on Stitch. Select them. Click OK. And as you see, they've been restitched. If I want to delete this, I'll select it through the browser because that ensures I'm selecting the whole thing and then click delete. It says it's referenced by other features. Let's see what will happen if I delete it. Well, this here has lit up yellow and that is the feature that has been affected. I could fix that, but I'm just going to undelete. The scale tool will let me change the size of selected features. Let's say I want to change that. I can drag the arrow and it will scale uniformly, or I can click on non-uniform and then choose the feature to scale. If I click Fill It, and then choose an edge, I can round off that edge. I'm going to Undo, and then choose two edges by holding the Shift key down, and then Fill It. Note that there's no thickness to any of this. So a feature like press pull is going to do this. This is in my way, so I think I'm going to right click and remove it. Remove is a soft delete. It only gets removed from the point forward that I removed it from. It's still in the timeline, so it doesn't mess up my model like deleting it did. Now finally, I'll click on Create, Thicken, select all this, thicken it, and now I have something that I could 3D print.